Dat is klas. Ik heb klas aan het. <laughs> Olé! Let's go to the man! Welcome back to Carkeeper. I'm your mate. And this is my new castle. I took some sweet time. And I decided that I want to rebuild this monstrosity. Uh, I'm actually recording this thing before the next upcoming update, which is apparently supposed to add go karts into the game. You can do racing tracks! That's nice, even Terraria doesn't have that shit. But all excitement outside, ladies and gentlemen, because today I want to do some killing. I want to try to kill the big bad worm. But before we're gonna actually try to do anything, I need to kind of prepare. So first things first, we need to locate uh, the guy. I want to see exactly where is he, so I can spare some of the some of the parts. Uh, by the way, I set it like a completely new save, so that's why you don't see those, those guys around. Uh, so we need this shit. We need this shit. I think I'm gonna craft myself the sword as well. Uh, because it slows down enemies. Hopefully it's gonna work on the boss. <laughs> I need something that's gonna help me slow him down. And now we're gonna go to my little workshop area over here. And I need to craft, I think, the best armor I can possibly get along with some arrows. So we need gold bars, we need fiber, and we need iron. Okay, and do I have fiber? I think I have fiber right over here in the search area. Yeah, I was busy, okay? I'm not gonna show you the entirety of the fortress just uh, today. Uh, I'm gonna give you a few sneak peeks here and there, but you know at some point I want to make like a video covering the entirety of the fortress because I I'm kind of proud of this thing. I just hope that it actually is gonna last a little bit longer uh, Than last time because you know the developers sometimes release an update and basically means that your old base is useless And you have to start from the beginning which is Kind of sad, but that's how it goes, you know games like this. Oh, yeah, look at me. Oh yeah, I'm a knight. <laughs> I'm a powerful knight. Hey, I look super handsome. Yo. This is how a proper knight should look like. Very nice. And I got myself a slimy sword. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, you know what? If you think about that, I should probably go to like the Netherlands, visit the Red, Red Lantern District and go on a boss hunting. But hey, what did I know, right? Okay. Activate this one. And activate the other one. Whoa. <laughs> right, now I see exactly where the bosses are located. I also think I'm gonna craft myself some jewelry, so I need movement speed. Uh, I need range damage, I think. And I'm gonna need more range, I think. Yeah, let's go with more range. There we go. So, this is more or less my equipment. I know that I probably cheese the thing a little bit because. Actually, we have this thing. What? That's max health. Nah, let's go with damage. Let's let's try to go with damage. Maybe it's gonna be uh, more useful. Okay. So, uh, yeah, probably some people will be like, "Oh, we didn't see how we've built this shit." So we're like, "No, whatever. We don't care." Uh, yeah, I could I could make like a video where I was building all of this thing, but with all honesty, that would just take a lot of time. It would take so much time, and I don't think you guys want to actually see through all of that thing. I think it took me like around three. Days to build this entire thing and I would really prefer not to record this thing. You know, I I just started my some uh, myself some music and You know, I went into the trance building I went into building shit and I'm gonna keep like it like that Okay, I prefer that we just just gonna pretend that this thing was standing here from the very beginning and we are not going to discuss this thing ever again uh, Okay, I'm gonna leave the things I don't need over here Right, we need to drop the crystals and the slimes as well to the all the storage containers uh, I need to basically look for some furniture. I need to look for some furniture so that we can decorate the stuff a little bit, you know, make it more homey. Uh, but that's not gonna be the thing I'm gonna focus on today. Okay, we got this shit. Now I need bombs. So I got a dedicated cooking area and a farming area over here. And I should have lots of pep. Yeah, we got a lot of bows. Okay, I'm gonna battle some of those things. I'm gonna go. I need to work on my alchemy station though. Uh, but I need bombs. I think the bombs are gonna be the most effective thing to actually deal with this with the with the gigantic worm How many do I need? I don't know get like 50 maybe 60 okay, whatever uh, also uh, If you don't know they've added a patch where it's easier for you to actually fire mushrooms You have like a special tile that you just place around and you get mushrooms also get mushroom people which are very aggressive but also incredibly dumb. I actually wonder how bad it's gonna go. <laughs> uh, okay, so I went to the Forgotten Ruins part of the map. Uh, he's on the opposite side. Good shit. Oh no, by mistake, I think I've showed you my castle. Oh no. What the fuck? Hey! 
You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> you are definitely not supposed to be here. Never mind, he slices the fucking slime. Okay, I wonder can the can the worm kill you? You know, that'd be actually funny. Jesus, this guy's aggressive. Can you stop being aggressive? Oh my guy. Okay, you know what? Fuck you. Get over here. Here, have some arrows on your face. <laughs> that was quick. Oh, what the lags? Uh, how good? Oh, this is actually pretty. Oh, this is very good. Yo, thank you. Most useful. Okay, once the once the worm is gonna be around here, uh, what we need to do is that we need to clear up the area a little bit because I need I need some like running space. Coming through. And yeah, I be I have to basically prepare like this. <laughs> we cannot craft like arena per se when when it comes to fighting the gigantic worm. So we have to work with what I have, which is not much. Uh, I don't see anything. Come on, break it. Just be sure that the fucker is not gonna <laughs> surprise me. Okay, make some torches around. Come on, pu put the top, put the top, not like that. Okay, still have some time, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of torches, like tremendous amount of torches, because I don't see a jack shit. I really don't see a jack shit over here. Come on, break it. Put a torch. Yeah. You call this thing a racing track. I'll, I call this thing the District of Doom. What the fuck is that? It's a ghost! It's chasing me. I don't want to. Stay away! <laughs> Here he comes. Right. There you ugly and you fat. Jesus, thank Christ. Why are you so fucking fat? And he spawned at most lines. God damn it! Here he comes again. Hi, asshole! <laughs> are you? Jesus, you're extremely ugly. Holy fuck. How can somebody... Something can be this ugly? The dove up did a great job, you know? Okay, uh, I'm still, like, building uh, the racetrack with him because we will have to run. I've seen, like, uh, on the trailers how more or less the fight looks like with this fucker. Because the developers were like, oh yeah, this is definitely a fight we have to implement in the trailer. So they did. And basically, you're gonna have to run. You're gonna have to run like crazy. So, that's a bit of a difficulty over here. Uh, okay, there's, there's, uh, I won't be able to see much over here. I cannot block him, I just have to run. Oh, crap, there's not a light, oh my god, it's so dark in here. That's what she said. Uh, okay, we need a new plan. So basically, the plan I have took from, uh, let's be honest over here, from Terraria, because, like, most of the ideas come from Terraria, since Terraria was the first one. Uh, bombs. Bombs should be quite e effective against this type of a monster. I've took actually the big bombs just in case. Uh, if you remember the Devourer from the Terraria, I think sticky bombs work out on him as well, quite well. I mean, sure, you could just go with the arrows and drop uh, the sparkling arrows or whatever that shit was, and you could still win. But uh, I think this is gonna be better. Okay, eat some food. Right. So what I need to do? How much speed do they have? Plus 21. Ooh, that's enough. Okay, we need to make some uh, some running space because every single time when he passes, he 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 uh, reduces the slime, reduces, <laughs> redoes the slime. So if you're gonna clear this shit, and he's gonna run over it, the slime will just return back, and the slime is slowing you tremendously. So the idea is that I have to kill him before I'm gonna run out of running space. <laughs> If I'm gonna run out of running space, well, we are fucked. We are so incredibly fucked. Well, I am, because you're gonna have a good laugh. Okay, just keep digging, keep digging, keep digging. I have some shit. Okay, maybe don't do that. Uh, replace the holes. There we go. I need running space. I need lots and lots of running space. Right, anything else? Oh yeah, of course! More slime! I mean, I could try to make me build some torches around here, just in case. Uh, wood is unlimited, so... Yeah, like... Do the torches doesn't cost me anything, actually, to do. Just some time. Okay, here's... Okay, he's, uh... More or less on, uh, 9 o'clock. Shit. So I still have some time. Fucking hell! If we're gonna keep doing it like this, then this is not gonna work, guys. Come on, focus you! You ice, ice cheeks tight. 
Uh, fucking hell, me and my fucking butterfingers. Anything else? Just think, just think. I don't see a jack shit. That's why you have torches, man. Oh, he's. I think he's getting 12 o'clock. Uh, that was probably a mistake. I just hope that this mistake won't cost me my life. Who designed this shit? I mean, you have to give it to the developers of Core Keeper. They, they are a creative bunch. They are a very creative bunch. Like, normally this would be like, oh, you don't have to face this thing while running away, obviously. It's just, it's just a gimmick, you know, just to introduce you to the boss. No, 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 no. It's actually a core fucking mechanic. Fuck. Uh, torches. He is getting closer, and I'm not ready. Fuck. Oh, come on, I don't, I, sh what, I'm out of torches? Uh! Ow. That was, that was a terrible, ter terrible timing. Fuck, he's approaching. He is approaching, and I'm not ready. Okay, this is gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight as my ass cheeks. Fuck. Uh, shovel. Come on, faster, faster. Fast, I said faster, not slower. Okay, he's on rust. Uh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know what I am clicking at this point. Oh, shit. Fuck, he's here. Okay, fuck it. We have to do we have to work with what I have. Maybe it's not gonna be that that, that bad. Uh bombs, 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 bombs. Okay, here we go. Get ready. Oh my god! Uh is that his charge ability? Whoa, 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 dude, 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 dude. Maybe don't do something like that, okay? Where is he? What the fuck? Oh! Son of a bitch! I have no idea what he's doing, but the boss is actually staying in one place. Okay. Hi. What the fuck is he? Hey! <laughs> get back here! Whoa! Okay, I need to get first of my corpse. Uh, where's my corpse? I need my items, 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 I need my Thank you. Okay, he's still making circles, I guess. Right. Uh, I have no idea what he's doing. I don't see a jack shit. Uh, where's the food that actually... Oh, shit! I need lights. Do I have lights? Do I have food that gives me light? Food, armor... No, 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 no! Oh, shit! <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what? Fuck this shit! Just gonna do, do, gonna do it the normal way. Hey! Whoa, fuck. Uh, here, have a bomb. Hey, the bombs still work. Good. Try to not blow itself up this time. Good. Here, have some more bombs. It's working. As long as this thing is working, it's fine. I just have to use bombs. Okay, light, light up the area a little bit. D he's making a gigantic fucking cave over here! Dude, I didn't want more slime. I wanted less slime, if that's a possibility, please. Uh, okay, I need more lights. Oh, shit! Ha-ha! <laughs> Olé! <laughs> Jesus, look at his fat ass. That worked! Come on, go on. Uh, that was close. That was close. Okay, he goes around. <laughs> Ole! <laughs> Suck it! Look, I ran out of torches. I had to use bombs. <laughs> That's it? Seriously? That's it? Huh. Okay. To Ooh! What the fuck? Inventory slots. Hey! Wow, really? <laughs> I was expecting a little bit more, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, well, just work with what we have, Neo. Just work with what we have. Okay, what else we have? We have iron. Uh, we got some larva meat. Very delicious. Shiny larva meat. Can be cooked. 
Raleigh Gorin variant of Larva Meat, which increases effect. This is pretty nice, but it's only a one-time effect. Fuck. Larva Ring. Me immune to being slower by slime. Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Now we give me the shit? This shit is useless to me right now. Well, looks like that's the end of the fight. Uh... Oh my god, he made so much damage around here. And he opened up a bunch of other caves, which is... Well, not great, not terrible. I'm just gonna have to grab this shit. This cave is gonna get swarmed by those fuckers eventually, which is... Well, gonna be a bit problematic in the later on, uh, in, a, in a later date. I mean, it's not that big of an issue, I can deal with them. But... yeah. The thing is that I'm not exactly sure where is his lair. Uh, he has like a specific point just as the slime boss He has like this one location thingy where he Has his altar so you can use the altar to summon him again if you have the right items And I actually wonder where the heck is that altar it could be anywhere somewhere along this tunnel <laughs> So it goes around the entirety of the map and could be anywhere. Oh That's gonna be a long journey. Wait. Hold on. I, ha I have a fucking ring. Oh, I need to have a set. Necklace larva ring. Do we have it in necklace, maybe? And basically for, like, you know, learning purposes, if you're wondering how this thing looks like, this is this is the type of the room where you're gonna summon the devourer or however that thing, that thing is called. So you have to find this room, you have to use a specific item, and just as the Slime King, uh, you can resurrect the, the devourer and he's gonna begin his journey. He's gonna run all the way over here. All the way over here. And then he's gonna join to the... Main circle thingy around the core of the of the world. So yeah, if you're wondering, can you select him? Yes. You want to? I don't know. Are you a lunatic? Ah, back to my castle. Okay, so we got some seeds. I got uh oh yeah, I found this shit. I don't know when I fuck I'm supposed to use the thing. Just place it anywhere for now. Wow, so ugly. Uh okay, I f yeah, this is his statue. So let's see what you're gonna actually give me for Crystallized core statue may attract someone looking for mysterious idols is placed in a habitat room. Okay, so this is for an NPC Ooh Armor Explosive damage <laughs> A bit oh Recall idol teleports to the core. That's very nice And we have a like a unique armor thingy over here Damage for a short duration after mining a wall. Ah. Explosive damage plus 9 and plus 6. That's pretty nice. It's very nice, actually. The game wants me to create a habitable place for the for the NPCs. So I'm gonna try to do that thing and maybe they're gonna spawn finally. Is this considerable habitable to fill? Is this considered like a homing place for the fucking NPCs? I hope so. So one of the vendors actually moved in, but the other one, I don't see the other one. I don't know what's happening. Hey, you can sell me. Oh, you can sit larva. Oh, you have larva meat. And tenor. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, can I sell you something? That's worth one coin to you. I mean, I could try to farm. I could try to farm some. Ooh, okay. We can, fr f we can farm slime. That's not a bad idea. Considering that if I resurrect somehow the, the devourer, he's gonna basically make me lots of slime. Like, whatever, how, how much I ever want. So, oh, okay. I cannot, I cannot make any money out of uh, wood. What about wooden tools? Well, he's happy to pay some, uh, some cash for the wooden tools. So we can work with that shit, I guess. Okay, that's, that's nice to know. Uh, I've cut myself the armor. The armor is actually not that bad. Like, if I'm gonna move the parts aside, uh, the armor doesn't have leggings, right? So that's a bit of an issue. But, the helmet is 17 health and 10 armor. The iron helmet is 15 health and 10 armor. But it actually increases uh, damage. This one gives you explosive damage, which is also quite nice, I guess. Depends on how we're gonna... Like, if you're gonna go for a... Bomber build, I guess you can actually use this armor. Uh, the chest plate is breastplate is uh, 27 health and 15 armor and 9 explosive damage, while this thing is 25, so it's a little bit better. 15 armor compared to 12 armor, and of course, this one gives you bonus damage, so it depends, right? But 
<laughs> I look like a drone. <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> okay, whatever, let's search the man. So, uh, think for the future noticed. We have to kill the hive mind. The hive mind is the only last boss uh, in the first, let's say, chapter of the game that actually I have to kill. So I have to replenish my supplies, get myself some uh, fixed weapons, and we have to figure out a good tactic for that thing. It's not gonna be that easy, I think. It's, to my understanding, the hive mind is the hardest boss. So we will see how that thing's gonna go, and it's gonna unlock us additional items for us to craft. But that's gonna think this is the man. I'm gonna actually try to do. In the future episodes. If you want to try the game yourself, you know what to do. Link in the description below. And keep in mind that the game is still in early access, but the developers are adding constantly uh, new things to do. They already added like the next ring of adventures. This is like a jungle. And now they are adding, on the day we're recording this, they have announced it, uh, that they are adding the desert and they are adding basically go kart racing. So I wonder how that thing's gonna go. And well, you know, that's a good thing for the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the flag. Thanks a lot. See you. In the next video.